Edo State Deputy Governor Mr. Philip Shaibu on Wednesday said the dissolution of Uzano clan and the dethronement of the clan head was aimed at restoring peace at the community. Shaibu claimed that the clown, Uzanu, was wrongly created from the onset and accused the immediate past governor of the state, Adam Sushomole, and his then commissioner for environment, Clem Agba, of exhibiting executive rascality to controversially create the clan. The Edo state government had on Monday dissolved the Uzanu clan in Esako East local government area and dethroned the clan head citing incessant and flagrant disregard to peace agreements and government's directives as reasons. Responding to questions from newsmen in Asaba Delta State, Shaibu said Uzanu was not qualified to be a clown, explaining that it was just a village and that a clan is made up of several villages. Shaibu was in Asaba for a two-day interactive session of the National Boundary Commission with boundary committees of the state in the south-south zone. He alleged that Agba, who is the present Minister for State for Budget and Planning, disregarded the state government when he was invited on three occasions for a meeting following crisis in his community, Uzan. According to Shaibu, Agba had allegedly acquired half of the village and was extending his tentacles to Igode when another crisis erupted. He said that initially, when the boundary issue between Igude and Uzanu came up, the state government took deliberate steps to ensure peace by properly making a demarcation. At the end of the day, government took that decision because lives were being lost and properties were being destroyed. We took that decision to now demarcate using all the necessary coordinates and archival documents. And when we demarcated some parts, that were not in the dispute were ceded to Zanu, even though they didn't ask for it. We followed proper mapping to arrive at that decision, and immediately we did that. There was peace until the Minister of State and Clan Head started bulldozing areas we had gazetted to Igude. And we called three different meetings, but the Minister, in his disregard for constituted authority, refused to come. The clan head also refused to come until we had to arrest some of those that were involved in the earlier dispute three years ago when six people were killed and he was declared wanted before he surfaced. As a result, government did not have any choice but to first look at the issue of clown. One village cannot be a clown. A clan is a combination of villages. It was chair government rascality of former Governor Adam Sushomole and then Commissioner of Environment Clem Agba to just create that clan. So, we have to revoke the clan and when the clan is revoked, the implication is that there is no clan head. Apart from revoking the clan, we withdrew the appointment of the supposed clan head that does not exist. He was not dethroned because there was a clan head. He was dethroned first because he had consistently generated crisis and lives were being lost and refused to maintain peace, he stated. Shaibu said everyone was happy with the decision except the minister as the decision has put an end to his unbridled desire to acquire the entire village. The deputy governor said the Edo state government under Governor Godwin Obaseki would never do anything that is not backed by law. We will never do anything that would be seen as oppressive or unconstitutional. We will follow the rule of law to sustain the peace in the state. It is by the grace of God that we are still there as governor and deputy and will not betray that confidence. So we had a report, we did report it earlier on and when that um, news came out that um, Governor Godin Obaseki and the throne um, um, claim Agba's um, king is a, a monarch the clan head of um, that um, community, Uzanu community, and then um, also dissolved that clan. Philip Shaibu was squeezed when he went to Asaba for an event. And um, he's explaining right now that um, it was Oshomale's rascality. It means um, Oshomale is still fingered, even though he's not um, the governor of the state. We know the issues and all of um, the, the drama that went on between Adam Oshomale and even Philip Shaibu days leading to the um, Edo State Governorship election and they are still happening now even the court cases and then um, um, everything in Edo State. So Philip Shaibu is stating right now that uh, 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 
Clem Agba used to be um, commissioner under um, Adam Sushomole. And obviously, so they, they are allies, they are, they are working together. That um, a clan is a combination of, um, of, um, of villages, more, more than one village, that several villages makes up a clan. That Uzano is just one community. How can they say Uzano is a clan? That um, it's not done. That they've looked at it and it looks like um, these guys are taking law into their hand. And also on the part, you know, after the news came out, um, mixed reactions was that um, it was a uh, revenge. Some person saw that um, it was a power tussle of Governor Gordon Obaseki was just uh, making, taking advantage of his position. Philip Shaibu right now is clearing the air that um, by the grace of God and himself and um, the governor, Gordon Obaseki, they will never do such, that they will never betray the confidence of um, those that elected them. That whatever they do, they ensure that it is backed by law. They will never do anything that is perceived as oppressive or unconstitutional. So to them, they feel that the decision to Shaibu, he feels that this decision that um, Governor Gordon Obaseki took, that it was the right decision. That when the issues surrounding this uh, community was boiling, lives were being lost, the crisis was unending. They requested the presence of Clem Agba. Agba did not turn up. He refused to turn up. That, that's quite interesting to note. Even they requested the uh, the the they requested the presence of uh, the the Uzanu clan head as at the time. He refused to turn up as well. And they said, well, okay, if it's going this way, then they have to do things differently. They said until they made some arrests, that um, he eventually showed up. And right now, they seeing that um, this um, crisis is not ending. The crisis is not ending. They've just decided that the best thing to do is to just um, dissolve that clan. So no clan exists. So for on Philip Shaibu's part, the way he, he put it is that people are stating that Governor Gordon Obaseki actually dethroned the clan head. That He didn't dethrone the clan head. That is no clan. There's, if there is no clan, there will be no head. So the first thing is to dissolve the clan. And as long as there is no clan, there is no clan head. Well... Uh, reactions are still coming and people still feel that uh, uh, some injustice are being meted here and uh, some persons are still feeling that um, it's still politics because um, when um, APC responded, the, re the, the way they reacted to this issue was that um, it was politics. It was more political than what Obaseki is stating. Well, my people, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.